So section 5.3 is about mathematical knots. A mathematical knot is not the same as when we say knot in real life, okay? A knot is going to be a single 1D loop in 3D space. It has to be a loop, it cannot be an open piece of string. And a link is one or more 1D loops in 3D space. So if I have two loops, it's a link but not a knot. However, all knots definitely count as links. So here is a single loop that's um, in 3D space. Now, do you see how I drew this diagram, how there's breaks in the string? That's just to indicate to you as you're looking at it, which string should be on top and which should be on bottom. But this guy, if you follow it around, is definitely a single loop. Now this counts as a mathematical knot and it also counts as a link. Here is a pair of loops which are intertwined. And so this counts as a link, but it doesn't count as a knot. And here is an open piece of string which kind of has what I would call a knot tied into it in real life. However, since it is not a closed loop in math, we definitely do not call it a mathematical knot. And here is a big floopy loop of string. Is it a mathematical knot? And you might think this is foolish. You're like, this isn't tangled up at all. There's no knot in it. However, it is a single 1D loop in a 3D space, and so this definitely counts as a knot. It's kind of a stupid knot, but it's a knot. In fact, all the mathematicians call it an unknot. Okay, so when are two knots the same? When are two knots topologically equivalent? And so this is all about equivalence by distortion, just like the other two sections in this chapter. And so here's a beginning example. The figure eight here, this knot, is definitely equivalent by distortion to this peanutty shape because you can take that bottom half of the figure eight and imagine yourself flopping it over and it becomes the other diagram. So it's just like the other sections. If you want to show that two shapes are equivalent by distortion, you just have to tell the story of how you would distort one to the other without cutting or gluing. And so here are two loops, but can you see how the right-hand loop is on top in both of these crossings? And so this link is equivalent by distortion to this link because you could just take these two links and pull them apart and it would create the other picture exactly. So how do we tell two knot shapes apart? Just like topological invariance, we need mathematical knot invariance. And so just like the other sections, a knot invariant is a test that you perform on a pair of diagrams to see if they're not equivalent by distortion. These invariants can't tell you if the two shapes are the same. They can only tell you if they're different. And so here's a really easy example to understand. The number of strings in the diagram, you cannot possibly change the number of strings in the diagram without cutting or gluing. And so this shape here, which is a single loop, is not equivalent by distortion to this shape, this link over here, because the one has one string and the other has two strings. They are non-equivalent. So something that's important to remember is that the only possible results, I'll say this again, when you're doing knot invariants, are they are different or I don't know if they're different. You cannot say that they're the same. Here's a really good example. Here are two different link diagrams, right? They both have two strings. But in this diagram, you can kind of tell that the hoops are, are locked together, they're tangled. But here, you could pull them apart. These are not equivalent by distortion. However, they both have two strings. And so the test that you perform on number of strings gives you the result, I don't know if they're different or not. They both have two strings, so I have no idea.